Hi and welcome to the Yorkshire Bike Mechanics YouTube channel. My name's Dave K and today it's lovely and warm outside. It's 18 degrees, which is good for March. Um, bloody boiling today. Um, are you watch, it'll be snowing next week. It's Easter next week, so you're guaranteed some snow. Um, anyway, just to move on, um, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. A very quick video. Um, something that you might have always wondered. Um, and it is that, okay, it's a brake caliper, you probably know anyway, a hydraulic brake caliper, this is an old avid one, I've got loads of these hanging about and I keep them for spares because that's all they're good for, so what I thought we'd do is, I thought I cut one in half, just to see exactly what was in one so you could have a look, so here it is on the bench. Okay, and here it is. Okay, and you can see exactly what's inside a brake caliper. I've cut it right down the middle. So you can see uh, there's three pistons in there, or three halves. Um, you can see one that's actually missing. I've kind of left that one out just to show you what's inside uh, that shell. I'll put it on the bench. Okay, so... Just bring that down. So I'll get me my little pointing stick. So you can see um, that these are the pistons that actually move in and out, and they're the chambers behind that contain the brake fluid. You can see on this particular one, you can see on this particular one, there's the hose coming in. Okay, so the fluid will go. Down that, uh, down that hose there, into this body, and then it splits into two, okay? And uh, one port goes in this side, and the other hole goes in that side, okay? And these fill up with um, dot four fluid in this particular case, or in Shibano's case, mineral oil. And you can actually just see the hole um, in there, where it actually starts to flow in from the hose, into the back of the piston and there's another hole at the other side behind the other piston okay so that's basically it that's inside a hydraulic um, hydraulic caliper a fairly simple mechanism but the principle is the same on all calipers whether the four pots or whether the two pots they're all the same principle some are better made than others uh, other you know some some are cheap nasty but essentially they all do the same job in this particular uh, well here this particular slot that's where the uh, the rubber o-ring goes um, to stop the uh, the fluid getting past there you can actually see, see in that particular slot uh, where the rubber seals go uh, to keep all the fluid this side so it doesn't escape out onto your pads so that's basically it that's inside uh, a brake caliper uh, pretty interesting I think but anyway um, something simple uh, please subscribe please share and I'll speak to you soon see you later bye